Hey everyone, Iron Spider-Man here with another CGC unboxing. Um, so, these are technically three different parts of three different orders. Um, so, I'm just going to go through. There's some Amazing Spider-Man, some Iron Man, some Green Lantern. So, let's just dig right into it. Um, the first five here, I, I really don't get why CGC is doing this, but maybe it's because how they're charging, because they're just... They're just pushing every order through every week. I'm getting a ding like, oh, we can't charge your credit cards. Like, yeah, you're trying to charge me for like 10 grand. That's supposed to be spaced out over a year. Like, you guys got to calm down. But um, I don't see that stopping anytime soon. So, um, yeah, this is like, I think this is like part, like just part of one order. But I'll get, just start showing you. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 682. Uh, this is the Delato variant, uh, 9.6. I really don't want to complain about a 9.6, but at the same time, I really wanted... I have uh, all the Delato variants for these issues. Really would have been nice to have a 9.8 set. Again, 9.6, 9.8, there's really not ever that much difference, but that's just me. 683... I want to say, I think probably the Doc Ock cover I just showed you, that's probably my favorite one. Not that any of these are bad by any means. Delato does a lot of great work. Uh, 684. 685. And 686. So... Only the first two were nine sixes. Um, I believe there's one or two more of these Delato variants, and they're both at whatever one or two, whatever of them they are. Uh, they're both at uh, CGC still, so waiting to get those back. Okay, so didn't start off too bad there. So yeah, I'll do like the middle part of this video. I'll do it in the big screw up again. So these are the Iron Man books. Um, I love this series of Iron Man. It's, uh, the current run, or soon to be previous run. Um, it's by Christopher Cantwell and art by Cafu, C-A-F-U. I think it's Cafu, Cafu, I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm actually really sad that this current team is no longer going to be on the book. Um, but so, number one, this is the Walmart variant. It's 9-6, but it says Brooks variant on it. So here is the Brooks variant I sent in. But that says Marvel Unlimited Edition. Here's the Marvel Unlimited Edition I sent in. And this says Walmart. So this label is supposed to be on this book. This label is supposed to be on this book. And this label is supposed to be on that book. I really don't understand how they continue to mess these up. I mean, I would like to think... I know this probably isn't the case. I would like to think the people in charge of grading books or, you know, making sure the variants and the labels are signed up. Like, I would hope that they are comic book knowledgeable. They don't, they don't have to be experts, but, like, comic book knowledgeable that would look at a cover like this and be like, that's not Mark Brooks. There's clearly a signature there. That's someone different. Like, again, maybe maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm thinking way too much for this company. But if I was running CGC, I would want, you know, you to have read and be knowledgeable on some comic artists and writers. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But now i got to send these books back in, pay to ship it down there, which I know isn't expensive, but pay to ship it down there for them to correct their mistake. So, it's just a headache. I had to do this once again, or one other time, with uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man Signature Series, Brian, ben Brian Michael Bendis and Mark Bagley. But, it's just it's such a pain, because now I have to make another trip, and I don't know if you guys know, if I've talked about it, I have three jobs. So, you know, to get to the post office, that's taken up the very little free time I have. But, I mean, whatever. Uh, just continuing on, Iron Man number two. This is the Marvel Unlimited Edition variant. I really like this cover. Um, I always love when they have like the current model, like on the 
like the wreckage of the older models. Not that that actually happens in the book, but just it's showing how, why this one's so much superior. I think that's cool. Oh, I'm really disappointed in this, that this isn't a 9.8. Um, Iron Man 2, again, these are all from the same series. Um, this is the Scan variant, S-K-A-N. Really, this is just a beautiful cover. I, I can't get over how great this is. Um, I was really hoping it would be 9.8, but whatever. You know how it goes. Um, this, I'm really happy, got a 9.8. This is Iron Man number 5. This is the Frank Cho variant. I don't think a lot of people got this cover. Um, I don't really see it that often. There's like a couple on eBay here and there. Uh, and this is this is goes for a good bit, like two, three hundred dollars, I think, if not more. Um, just really awesome cover. Again, slightly disappointed. This is Tony Stark Iron Man number two. It's a nine six. It's the Mark Brooks variant. Really love this cover. It looks a lot like it looks kind of like a blend between the extremist suit and like the movie MCU suits. So really awesome. He's assembling the Hulkbuster there. Um, again, really. All these really should have been nine eights, especially after a press and clean. I mean, they're modern books with no ticks, no bends, no nothing. So I'm not really sure. Uh, Tony Stark Iron Man number three. This is the Mobius variant. I'm not a big fan of this artist, but I do really like this cover. Um, I think that's the ablative armor. Ablative. I think that's how you say it. it's the suit that like it has multiple layers. Like when the outer layer is damaged, it like just pops it off, and the second layer comes in. Again, not a book I see a lot of people have or talk about. Tony Stark Iron Man number four. Uh, this is the Lozano variant. Really cool how the suit's just assembling. It's very uh, Infinity War-esque kind of image, um, which probably is how this came about because this was... Oh yeah, this came out about six months after the movie. Eight months. Okay. So, now on to the last set of books, the Green Lantern books. This, okay, this, I think this is the first book I've seen in any of my recent submissions that I'm like, okay, there's a few spine ticks on the black at the, on the bottom left. It's like, I get why this is a 9-4. I probably should have looked at this better, but it's just such a cool cover. I thought, you know, maybe they'll give me a break on it, because there's so, there's so many, many, like, uh, there's one right... I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So minor. Same with that one. And it's it's not like they, they don't go to the back of the book. So I figured I'd get a break on that, but guess not. Why would CGC ever give anyone a break? Um, but then, again, now I look at this. There's two spine ticks on here, but this has an I-8. Uh, Green Lantern 67. This is the uh, Tom Nug Nugan. Is that how you say it? Variant, really cool. Now, if you guys remember, uh, on the Green Lantern submission video, I had this book here, Green Lantern number one, New Fifty Two. It's the sketch cover. I had this. I bought this in a PGX nine eight for twenty dollars, and I was like, okay, press and a clean. This really shouldn't be anything lower than a nine six, and it got a nine eight. So, I really don't try to buy PGX books. I really, uh. I'm on the fence even with CBCS books anymore because there's nine sixes, nine eights that are looking like eight fives, nine O's. Um, so I really try not to do anything other than CGC just because it's the value is more in the CGC books. Um, but and CGC is quicker. Well, now it's quicker, was quicker, now is quicker, but for a long time wasn't. But yeah, um, really happy nine eight because I have, I think I have this in a nine eight, the first print. And then I think I have the Capullo variant, too. Green Lantern number two, David Finch cover. Again, none of these should have been anything outside 9-8. They really shouldn't. None of these have spine ticks. All these were picked up from either my local comic book store. Actually, I think all of them were. Or, yeah, the other comic book store kind of in my area. It's a, it's a bit of a drive, though. Um, Green Lantern number three, the Van Skyver variant, 9-8. Beautiful cover. I love it. the green just really pops around the yellow. The yellow even pops too. Like it's just a cool cover. This again, I don't know who's having a bad day, but a 9-4. Uh this is the Manipool variant. Again, there's not a single blemish on this book. 
No, no corner crunch, no color rub. Nothing on the back. So, I don't know. And I'm keeping all these. I think the... Nope, yeah, no, I'm keeping all these. Um, there's not a book in here I'm selling. Uh, Greenlander number five. The I believe it's Choi is how you pronounce it. The Mike Choi variant. Really love how the Tommy guns are drawn and colored. I think he did... He did the inside... Uh, it's of this issue. Mike Choi did the inside of this uh, book. This is the Green Lantern 6. This is the Ivan Reese variant. Really cool. Uh, Green Lantern 7. Um, this is with the Ian Churchill cover. Really nice Indigo 1 variant. I really liked this story with the Indigo tribe and everything they did. Um, I mean, I loved, I loved every issue Jeff Johns wrote. It's kind of hard to pick a bad one. Uh, Green Lantern 8. This is the Dale Keown variant. Really like this. The only thing, I don't love Hal's ring design on this book, or on this cover. I like it when Hal's is like, it's the more circular ring and the symbol's like inside it. I don't like... I like Kyle's ring for Kyle, where it's like, it's more of the symbol, kind of like here, but not for Hal. Then last book of the batch, uh, Green Lantern number 9. This is the Gary Frank cover, or variant cover. Um, I love Gary Frank art. I don't, I mean, I can't imagine anyone who wouldn't like it. It's, Gary Frank's one of those artists that it's, that could, that could almost be a photo. Like, it, it's so realistic. It's so detailed. And, you know, I hate that it takes him so long to do, but I understand why. Um, you know, because he, what, it took him a year plus just to do Doomsday Clock because he was doing Batman Earth 1, which I really hope we get more of, but... Yeah, great. he's a phenomenal art artist. Uh, just wish his stuff came out more often. But yeah, guys, uh, that's my haul, um, or my batch back from CGC. Um, I'm hopefully going to do some other videos soon, you know, mix it up a bit. I want to do another room tour because the room has evolved so much in the last two years since I did the last video. Um, I want to do some, I've got some, like, collectibles and, like, figures stuff in. Um, I kind of want to show off, so... Hey guys, stay tuned for other videos and I'll see you in the next one.